Crime Tracker 10 this morning with shattered glass littering parking lots and neighborhoods. Car break-ins happen in every city and every suburb. This morning, Morning News anchor Angela Ann is breaking down those numbers to help you keep your valuables safe. Angela, you've been working on this story for some time, mm -hmm. digging through police reports, and some police agencies say this is actually their number one problem. They sure do, Jessa. You know, theft from autos is such a huge problem. In fact, one of the police agencies tells me that it is considered public enemy number one. And I want to start off this morning by saying that this is first a crime of opportunity. So that said, according to the FBI, thieves broke into 1.2 million cars last year in the United States. That breaks down to 146 cars an hour, 2.4 cars a minute. Now, Central Ohio is no different. So we dove into nearly a year of statistics from more than a dozen police agencies, and we uncovered some really interesting facts here. And come Monday night at 11 p.m., I'm going to share with you the one day of the week when break-ins happen the most, where they're happening, and when. But beyond that, do not make yourself an easy target. You hear it all the time. And as Dublin police say, if you like it, lock it, which basically hide your valuables. And as, as I've heard from many police agencies, if thieves want to find something, if they want to find a way into your car, they will do it. So if yes. it's something that you can't part with, don't leave it there. And it takes just seconds that they can get in and get out. And I think we've all fallen victim to a car break-in at one time or another in our lives. Do they have any good, simple advice for us beyond that? Well, um, you know, beyond, uh, they, they, they've got hours. You know, when you're going to go shopping, especially with the ho holiday shopping season coming in, um, don't go from store to store and then store things in the back seat of your car. Even the trunk of your car, try to bring it home if you can, in between stores if you can, because that, that'll stop you from becoming a victim. I I think a lot of people think, well, if we just put it in the trunk, it's out of sight, out of mind. Not all the time. They're yeah. watching. All right, Angela, thank you so much. And again, Angela is doing the legwork to keep you and your property safe. Join 10 TV Monday night at 11 as we take you on patrol with Crime Tracker 10 to break down when and where these break-ins are happening.